11 million. That is the number of Jews that died in the Holocaust. A brutal crime committed by the Nazi Germany in, in the mid 1900s. This book tonight is about the author, Ella Weasel, who is also the Nobel Peace Prize winner, where to his family ripped apart at age 16, forced into Auschwitz concentration camp, also known as Hitler's death camp. He's one of the very few who survived the crime that took 11 million people's lives. I strongly do recommend this book tonight. Uh, first, it tells you how, about the horrifying facts of what the Nazis and what they have done. And second, it speaks through the lenses of the Jew in a concentration camp. And also, this book is not just history about the Jews and how they suffered. It is also a written account that is, who has endured the unendurable. But for well, some people might not want to read this book because some of the content might be disturbing because it's about the brutal events coming by the Nazis. And most of us know all well, Nazis are so bloody neighbors. Well, <coughs> for example, uh, by this time period, it, uh, Germany has conquered most of Europe. And this is extract from this book, Nights at page 16. The Hungarian police uh, is uh, used their rifle butts, their clubs, to indiscriminately strike old men and women, children and cripples. One by one, the houses were empty, and the streets were full of people created by those. This does tell us how, uh, how people are just forced out into the streets and had to walk their way to our camp Auschwitz. This book is also a few accounts that explain from the lenses of a Jew who has been dragged from their homes to Auschwitz, then to uh, Brunchenwald. You won't be able to find uh, information like this from any other book because most of the people are dead and not all books about the uh, Holocaust is written by a Jew who has been through it. Also, uh, one thing that uh, Atticus Fink said in uh, How to Kill a Mockingbird, he, has, he or she has said, you never understand a person until you have seen through seen things to you from their point of view, walk, jumped into the skin, and walked around with it. <coughs> this, this book also has uh, been accurately tells you how the Nazis has treated Jews because the sources, sources are from documents and also from pictures or from videos. This is a living memory from one of the Jews. This is excerpt from the book about how the train ride was towards the Auschwitz. Lying down wasn't an option, nor you could all sit down. We decided to take turns sitting. There was little air. Lucky ones found themselves near a window and watched the blooming underside go by. After two days of travel, uh, travel, the thirst became intolerable, as did the heat. This is from page 23. This shows how the train ride was, how hard it was to even go to camp Auschwitz, and how people were just standing on there. And this people, uh, this book also shows the Holocaust through a Jew's eye, which we haven't got and we have never been to war or have never been to a concentration camp. It tells you the uh, inhuman acts of the Nazis. And <laughs> it reveals the story of the one who endured the unendurable. Well, we all know that Nazis haven't done good things and they have done really horrible, a lot of horrible things, but well, the next time you think about Nazis, you would know much more about them, uh, not just things that have, they have done horribly, if you read this book, and you will know much more about